All right, so unfortunately, my big motor is not working at the moment, so I'm just kind of using my trolling motor, and it does just fine to get me around this little lake here. So for those of you guys who don't know, uh, this lake that I'm at right now is a lake that I come to quite a bit. Uh, it's a pretty small lake, but what I love about this lake is that it has hybrid striped bass, white perch, and that it's also got obviously largemouth bass, bluegill, and crappie. Uh, but I just love fishing for hybrid striped bass, and one great way to catch them is to troll with crankbaits and swim baits and just anything that really resembles a shad, which is what they feed on mainly in this lake. Uh, but today I'm going to be going after some largemouth. I'm going to be throwing worms at the banks because that seems to be where they have been lately. And hopefully we can catch at least a few largemouth on just a basic Cinco. And if not, I may switch up to something else. But let's just start with the Cinco first. All right, here's what we got. That's your basic Cinco. And I dipped it in kind of a garlic scent, which gives it that kind of neon yellow at the tip of the tail there. Um, so we'll see how that does. And, um, you know, if we don't get any bites on it, we'll obviously switch it up. All right, so I couldn't help myself. I've been seeing a ton of fish on the fish finder, and honestly, I think a lot of them are hybrids chasing uh, shad. So, I got a couple things tied on. I got a little, uh, just paddle tail on this spinning rod, and then I've also got, on my other spinning rod, the good old shad wrap. Uh, this one's a little bit of a deeper diving shad wrap, just so I can kind of get uh, variety in depths with my baits. I've also got a smaller bait tied on in case these fish are not hybrids Maybe there's something a little bit smaller and that would be on this little ultralight rod the bait is just a little beetle spin the little uh, curly tail on it so definitely some different shad uh, imitations and hopefully at least one of these baits will get a bite. We're about to find out. I'm going to do some trolling in those areas that I've been seeing a lot of fish and we'll see what we can do. So the nice thing about this setup I got going is once I have that trolling motor set to a certain speed, I can actually uh, control the boat just with the steering wheel here because I do have the motor down even though it's not functioning, I can still use it as kind of a rudder. Uh, so that's an easy way for me to be able to steer the boat, especially since I'm by myself while I'm trolling. Uh, so I can just kind of sit back here, steer the boat, and wait for a bite on one of these rods. All right, I think we may have a bite here. Oh. What is this? It's small, whatever it is. It's a uh, crappy. Wow. What in the world? Okay, well, I will take it. That's a fish. It is definitely a fish. Just not what I was expecting while trolling. With the crankbait. There's a little crappy. Let's go ahead and let him go. All right. I'll go ahead and show you here. We have a lot of fish. We'll mark it on the fish finder. I'm not sure how well you'll be able to see this. 
but uh, there's quite a few fish that we're marking here. All right, so that's pretty much it. Uh, unfortunately, we weren't able to get any more bites other than that one crappy that I caught while trolling. Uh, but at least we caught a fish. Sometimes I come out here and don't catch anything. Um, and that honestly teaches me a little bit of a lesson, which is to not get distracted from my original goal, which today happened to be to catch uh, largemouth. You know, I saw a bunch of fish on the fish finder and just wanted to catch hybrids because I love doing that but that was pretty evident today so next time I'm definitely just gonna lock into one goal and just kind of stick to that but that's about all the time I have for today so I hope you guys enjoyed the video remember to subscribe if you haven't already and remember there's always time for one more cast